What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about SOS, SOS Limited. We're going to be diving into the short seller report from Hindenburg. There are some updates. Then we have a video from SOS headquarters. So we have a lot of videos, actually two different videos to look at uh, from the headquarters apparently. And then we want to look at the chart. Obviously, how this stock is playing out, correlation to crypto, correlation to Bitcoin, things like that. So make sure you're jumping down, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button. Really quick, for those who do not know, SOS has come out and said that they believe Hindenburg has done this to manipulate. They don't believe any of this is accurate. They apparently look forward to defending themselves vigorously, addressing the matters and providing more information in the coming days. That is all we have from SOS specifically when we're making this video but we have some other information that has come out over the past couple of days. So really quick, take a look at the SOS chart. We have a downtrend break. We broke out, we got back above six, which was a key level. We pushed up, got rejected up around this $9 area and have been kind of in this range. So we're bouncing around from like nine bucks down towards six bucks and we're here in the low, in the mid sixes in the pre-market hours. And we'll look at that and the correlation to Bitcoin in just a sec. But let's dive into what is going on here and some of the updates. So really quick, here's the Finviz chart. Any insider buying? We don't see that as of right now. Still no update on the short float, at least from Finviz. I have seen some other estimations where they do have a large short percentage of the float and the float is pretty pretty small. So the stock is pretty volatile and can move very fast. That's why a lot of traders had been playing it a couple days back when Bitcoin was pushing on up. So first, I figure we start kind of here, start towards the source. And of course, by making this video, by no means am I saying that Hindenburg is right. No means am I saying SOS is right. I'm just giving you guys what we have. So here's uh, Hindenburg's some updates here. They originally posted on February 26th, I believe, their initial kind of uh, their initial start to this report and then they've kind of added to this thread here on Twitter um, in March actually you know so far so they have this right here pointing out that their target FXK has a website that seems to be set up by SOS hosted on the SOS server and the company moved the server from Hong Kong to California updated the source code and removed the reference to SOS apparently this is what they're finding from the website potentially covering up and then here's this they do come back and they had the whole issue with the whole uh, hq address they now have updated sos came out updated this and they addressed it and they figured that this was a match that hindenburg found this was a match so here it is here's what they say here's the address here's the picture that they say in their filings and their prs and then here is like some actual pictures so this does match up we were there were some questions about okay where is this building and obviously then people were talking about oh well no you're looking at the wrong building here's the actual building we don't know because we're not there so i guess apparently hindenburg has gone there so here's some pictures um, that they're pulling up to now show that that is the same building okay cool that's great address issue is fixed great now we have this. Hindenburg then goes to the SOS building. It's like, okay, cool. Let's see what's going on here at the headquarters. So really quick, we kind of have this, you know, shaky footage, but there are logos on the doors here for SOS, um, I will say, which is, you know, great to see, obviously, for someone who you know, wants to make sure that this is legit, right? Uh, and then you're looking in, the, the, their issue here is that it's empty. They didn't see a sign. They're, they're apparently claiming that they saw no sign of people, no signs of activity on the floor. So yeah, obviously the building's large, so there's not just one floor. There's many, many floors. And does this matter? I don't know. But that's Hindenburg's report. They come in saying, "Hey, we 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 looked at the building, but we didn't see anything." You know, getting a couple little other angles from other sides. They walked around the ground floor, and that was it. So that is one thing to note. Maybe that is something to be concerned about. I'm not sure what the explanation for that is. Would love for SOS to explain that when they come back to kind of refute some of these claims more officially. Then there's this right here, RHY, apparently SOS, their target FXK has stolen the website design from RHY. And then here was the statement from RHY saying that they have nothing to do with this and they strictly condemn FXK's misappropriation and plagiarism and they reserve the legal right to respond to this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that was interesting. So now we have that. That's the updates from Hindenburg. Okay, cool. What's the actual video now that we have? So this video is starting to circulate around a little bit, and I figured we pull this bad boy up, and uh, so we see SOS headquarters, and we can dive into what we got going on here. So apparently, this is going to be showing us the crypto mining rigs. Now, I don't know enough about how this stuff works and what to think about this, but I do know that it requires a lot of power and a lot of electricity and a lot of fans. So I do understand these things heat up. That is all the, the kind of the extent of my knowledge upon that. So, okay, cool. They're showing the fans. They're showing kind of what's going on. 
on this maybe could be the roof or something like that of the building great we're kind of seeing generation power generation whatever and then we're diving in as they start kind of touring you into the building they take you in and then here we see um, what looks to be the the miners right these are the miners and so you kind of they tour you around pretty much the, the, the whole point of this is to say hey this is legit, right? Here are our crypto mining rigs. Here's what it looks like. Here's the actual operation that's going on. Here's our company. Here's a logo. Here's someone who works there giving us a little tour, right? So you can take this however you see fit and they show the other building as well or the other side of the building um, as well. And pretty much that's the extent of the video. They are speaking here as well, obviously not in English. Um, and so, you know, that is what we have in front of us here for SOS. Okay, cool. That's great. Now I'm not gonna you know make any speculations here because uh, that, that that's not the point of this video. But we can go off of what's going on based on the chart. So as of right now, what do we got going on? SOS this morning is down. Now the overall market has been taking some significant hits. So yes, weak stocks are stocks that have you know paper hands. You know people who are selling. Everyone's calling that paper hands, right? Stocks that may show any sign of weakness are getting absolutely hammered in this market. And SOS was down 15% in the uh, prior day. So understand that. Now, today we seem to be bottoming out towards six. Six bucks seems to be holding up as support. So our prior lines of support and resistance seem to be holding up pretty well for SOS. Okay. Another thing to note with SOS, we have this, a $40 target from Scorpio, which is based in China and has verified the information refuting Hindenburg's report with a $40 target. So that is their valuation. That's where they see SOS as of right now. I don't know the legitimacy of that, although I have seen quite a few people talk about this. So that came out the other day. And when that came out, look what SOS did. It went from 650 up to 925. So that was the big move that we had intraday uh, back on the 3rd of March when that apparently had come out. So that is what we have in front of us now. Okay, we're seeing SOS over the past five days. Okay, cool. Can we correlate this chart to Bitcoin, right? Can we correlate this? Let's dive into Bitcoin really quick now. Okay, Bitcoin is now pulled up and let's take a peek at the past couple of days. So if we wanna zoom our way out on Bitcoin, what we can see if we zoom on out and we start to see the kind of progression, well, Bitcoin right now, the past day or so has been downtrending as we can see. We're sitting right now at 47,386 when I'm filming this video. And we go back to where it hit 52,000 and that was on the third, okay? So March 3rd pops on up at 8.40 or, 8 or around 8 a.m. pops to hit that high, kind of consolidates and then pushes up later that day. So in terms of SOS, what happens on March 3rd, especially in the morning, that's what we wanna kind of see for SOS. Okay, now what we see here is that SOS pushes up, gaps up on the third, but then actually downtrends when Bitcoin is making that high. So that's an interesting kind of fact to note is that at 8 a.m. around eight, you know, SOS popped a little bit but then continues to downtrend as Bitcoin pulled back off that 52,000 high from that from the third and then picks up intraday, even though overall the day we saw Bitcoin pulling back. So this correlation right here seems to be non-correlated to Bitcoin to a degree. Now, Bitcoin was still relatively high, so SOS pushed up, but this seems like this had more correlation to that $40 price target from Scorpio, that is why it looked like SOS pushed up on that. So it seems like now what we're seeing for SOS is that it's pulling back with Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin has been downtrending and it is pulling back with Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin, to be honest, has been correlating to a degree to the overall market. So take a look at the S&P, take a look at Bitcoin. They do have some correlation here. That is one thing to note. Now, SOS is pushing up futures right now are green when we are filming this video. Things have been very rocky, pretty red, but it's coming back up. It is still down about 5% here in the pre-market compared to yesterday's close. Still want to be paying attention to Bitcoin. There is a correlation there, obviously. And with some of the new information that has come out, it seems as if you know people are starting to understand this a little bit better, but we still want to get the specifics from SOS from the company itself. Let's get some specifics. Let's have them answer some questions about that whole website thing, about all that stuff. If they can answer that, maybe even the ground floor kind of thing, what's going on, you know, what, what does that mean? Where are the offices? Where are people located in the building? That's a big building, right? I don't know how large the operation realistically actually is. So that's a pretty significant building. And even though, right, the address now lines up, people are still gonna have that question of, okay, why, you know, is no one here? If you go back a couple years back, that is, a, that is one of those things that at least investors are scared of because with Chinese companies. Now, I'm not saying that, that's, that you should be scared because it's just a Chinese company that's immediately a red flag. No, absolutely not. But investors are scared because what some Chinese companies did years back, and this has been nipped lately, right, in, in recent years, so this hasn't been happening as much, 
but there's still that kind of fear in a lot of investors and a lot of traders' eyes that, hey, these Chinese companies, what they would do is that they would have these operations, and then when they would have scheduled visits, all of a sudden they'd bring in employees, they'd bring in all these people to make it look like their operation's massive, whereas the next days, all of a sudden everyone's gone and the operation's 10 times more. That is absolutely not saying that SOS is doing that, but that's just some of the concern that investors have, and that's why the stock seems to be taking some significant hits with the overall market being down lately because of that fear. It's a stock that still has some questions people want to get answered, and we're getting more answers. We're getting that video. It's, it's good to see. But when there's less conviction, when there's less certainty behind a stock, those are the types of stocks that get hit first when the market sells off like it has been. So hopefully this video was helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you haven't seen those videos, glad you got to see this video that showed you guys some of those videos from SOS headquarters. If you guys have not done so already, make sure you're jumping down and subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button. And if you want to be able to trade pre-market and after hours, take advantage of some of these bigger moves on stocks like SOS, the platform we're using here is Webull. You can do so. It's a free platform to use, and they're going to give you two free stocks up to 1,850 bucks when you sign up and deposit at 100 bucks. Thanks so much for watching. Any other links and resources are linked down below, as well as my personal main channel. Check that out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.